Florida's warm, wet climate makes it an ideal habitat for all kinds of reptiles and amphibians. Frogs and toads especially find plenty of ideal habitats in the state, from the sandy marshes and cypress swamps to the thousands of lakes and ponds across the state. While not very big, frogs and toads play vital roles in their ecosystems as both predators and prey. In this article, we'll go over native species in Florida, a couple of invasive ones and their impact, as well as answer some common frog questions. Green tree frogs are usually green, but can vary in color from bright green to slate gray. Most will have a yellow or white stripe extending from the mouth along the sides of the body. These frogs are the ones Floridians hear calling before a sudden rainstorm. An adult green tree frog will have an average body length of around 2 inches 5 centimeter. They use disc-shaped suction cups on their feet to cling to and climb trees in cypress swamps lakes and ponds. Their diet consists of invertebrates, including earthworms, waxworms, and crickets. Little grass frogs can be identified by the dark line passing through their eyes in running the length of their bodies. Most of the time, they will have some variation of tan, brown, green, or red coloring. Adult grass frogs reach a body length of around half an inch, one centimeter. Ants, wasps, and beetles make up most of a grass frog's diet. They're most often found perched on grass stems above the surface of the water where they ambush prey. The striped pattern on their back makes them difficult to locate as they blend in with the grass. The northern spring peeper is a dull, small frog that can vary from brown titan in color. Like a few other species, they occur only in the western panhandle region of Florida. Adults will almost always have a body length of fewer than 2 inches 5 centimeter. Temporary ponds in the bushes surrounding them are this frog's favorite habitat. In cold weather, the frog goes into hibernation, only waking when it gets warm enough to find food again. Most of their diet consists of small insects such as ants, flies, and insect larvae. Oak toads are the smallest toad in the United States, reaching a maximum body length of around 1 1 half inch 3.8 centimeter. Their back colors can range from dark brown to gray, typically with three to four pairs of dark spots. Each toad always has a yellow stripe down the middle of the back. Oak toads are most often found in upland areas of oak or pine forest. They have a cheap, cheap, cheap sounding call. Most of an oak toad's diet consists of small insects they find around the roots of trees. Pig frogs are usually dark brown or green on their backs, have pale undersides with a brown net-shaped pattern, and have a bronze splash on their sides. Adults can reach a body length of over 6 inches 15 centimeter and are one of the most popular sources of frog legs in the state. Pig frogs tend to stay in permanent bodies of water, such as large lakes and ponds. They get their name from their call that sounds like a grunting pig. Most of their diet consists of crayfish, insects, fish, and other amphibians. The most distinguishing feature of Pinewood's tree frogs is the rows of small white, yellow, or orange spots on the insides of the thigh. Overall, they have a gray to greenish gray coloring. Adults tend to reach a maximum body length of around 1 1 half inches 3.6 centimeter. Pinewoods tree frogs are most often found in marshy pine forests and swamps, where they blend in with tree bark. Their diet consists of a wide range of insects including crickets, beetles, ants, wasps, flies, and jumping spiders. River frogs have greenish-gray back legs, blotched undersides, and light spots on their lips. Their best defense mechanism is to leave a smelly odor on anything that grabs them. Most adults will reach a body length of around 5 inches, 12.7 centimeter, making them the third largest frog in Florida. As the name suggests, River frogs are found mainly in river systems, ranging from the panhandle of Florida into the central areas of the state. Small invertebrates, small frogs, 
and insects are their primary food sources. Leopard frogs are usually green or brown, but have a light spot located directly on their eardrum. They have a widely varied pattern of spots that resemble that of their namesake big cat. Adults can reach a maximum body length of around 3 one half inches 8.9 centimeter. Unlike some other frog species, Leopard frogs can tolerate higher levels of salinity. They can be found in brackish hardwood swamps, as well as freshwater marshes. Most of their diet consists of worms, arthropods, and small insects. Southern toads have pronounced head knobs and are usually brown, red, or gray. While they do secrete an irritating oil, it isn't toxic to humans and therefore isn't considered poisonous. Adult southern toads can reach body lengths of up to 4 one half inches, 11.5 centimeter. These toads are common in sandy areas, as well as swamps, marshes, and hardwood areas. Most of their diet consists of small invertebrates like snails, crickets, and other insects, but they will eat just about anything they can swallow. Squirrel tree frogs can range in color from green, brown, or both. Some have spots, others do not. Some even have a black bar between their eyes. The best way to identify them is by their call which sounds like a chattering squirrel. Squirrel tree frogs are found in a wide variety of habitats, as long as their needs of a wet area and food are met. Swampy forests are the most common areas, as they climb the trees of the forest. Most of their diet consists of foraging for insects, and adults reach around 1 1 half inch 3.8 centimeter in body length. Squirrel tree frogs can range in color from green, brown, or both. Some have spots, others do not. Some even have a black bar between their eyes. The best way to identify them is by their call which sounds like a chattering squirrel. Squirrel tree frogs are found in a wide variety of habitats, as long as their needs of a wet area and food are met. Swampy forests are the most common areas, as they climb the trees of the forest. Most of their diet consists of foraging for insects, and adults reach around 1 1 half inch 3.8 centimeter in body length. Cuban tree frogs are the largest tree frog species in North America, but they're native to the Caribbean. Originally brought into southern Florida, Cuban tree frogs have spread throughout the state. Adults can reach a length of around 5 inches, 12.7 centimeter, and have bumpy backs, large footpads, and the skin on the head is fused to the skull. They can vary in color dramatically, from pale green to tan or dark brown. The problem with this invasive species is found in their diet. They typically feed on other frogs, lizards, and insects. Not only do they outcompete native species for food resources, but they're also larger than most native frog species. This allows them to feed on native amphibians and causes population decline in those species. 